the vibe was so crazy first day um friday night i was able to go to um the wmba um team um practice angel reese won her um i guess she i guess coach sharon miller um had a bet if they made a half court shot you win a uh, 100 bucks and angel reese got the shot which i was shocked <laughs> to see her win that money, get that shot off. So that was good. After the practice, I was able just to um, go in the pods and speak to Team USA first. Um, and I got to ask Alyssa Thomas what other play, if she was able to be another uh, play Olympic sport, what would it be? She said, Hi, Alyssa, how are you? Okay, first question, if you could compete for another Olympic sport, what would it be? Swimming? Why swimming? Okay, and I know that you're playing against, you know, your teammates today. I know you guys aren't going to take the game serious, but what is it like going to be like playing against your teammates? Oh, I mean, we are taking the game serious. I mean, this is the first step for us to, you know, um, get ready for the Olympics. Um, it's going to be different against them, but, um, yeah, plan on trying not to let them score. Are you going to battle against Breezy? Uh, I'm gonna let other people handle that. I'm, I'm done with those days. Okay, thank you. I was not expecting expecting that. Jackie Young, I asked her, you know, everyone calls her a smooth, um, a silent assassin. She described her game as smooth. Um, Hi, Jackie. Ciara with MTMB Sports. So a lot of people call you the silent assassin. If you could describe your game in what word, what would it be? What was that? I'm sorry. Oh, I like that. Okay. You do have a smooth game. Thank you. Brianna Stewart, she's very humble and quiet, but chill at the same time, which you would never yeah. think that the, seeing how, you know, dominant she is on the court. Asia Wilson had too many people around her, so I wasn't able to get a question into her, but just seeing her vibe, your bae is definitely lit, Will. Let me just, she's very lit. I will dress as Asia. Angel Reese had so many people around her. Let me tell you what they did, though. They put Angel Reese and Caitlin Clark at the same exact time for media. So <laughs> I just don't. That's all up. It, it was. No, but that's why. How are you going to do that at the same time? But I went to Angel Reese first, and I just wanted to know how much fun she was just having chasing her dream as being in the WNBA. Andrew, you had your, you went from NCAA, now here, your first All-Star. I just want to ask, how much fun are you having chasing your dream? I'm having a great time. I mean, obviously, I'm, I've missed LSU, the college life, but it's no better place than being on your own. I love being on my own. I love being free, um, being able to be in Chicago, the best city. Um, I'm, I'm so loved there, too. So I'm just happy to be in the moment. And she said that she was having a lot of fun um, just to be on her own, being her own person. So that was dope. Um, I honestly thought I was going to be shy, guys, because I asked one, first, one question last year. I just asked BG to describe what WNBA meant, WNBA All-Star meant to her. And then to ask all these yeah. different questions this year. Oh, it yeah, felt, we saw it. It felt really yeah, good. Um, proud so I was very proud of myself, yeah, pat really myself bad. on the back. I give, I, uh, I uh, just attest uh, that to my angel that I had with me, uh, my friend Jack. So thank you for that. Um, yeah, and uh, Saturday, uh, Friday night was Alicia Gray. I definitely was not expecting her to win both um the three-point contest and the skills challenge but she got that bag for sure um and i was speaking earlier um to voice and to d that i think caitlin and sabrina not competing in the three-point contest made the anticipation for the all-star game so much better and the reason why i say that is because andrew reese talked about how um seeing steph dawson 
um, compete in the three-point contest makes her want to work on her three-point shooting even more. Um, right. Alicia Gray didn't have the first half of the season that we thought she was going to have. So that made her want to come out there and shoot that ball the way we know that Alicia Gray can shoot the three. Um, Kayla McBuckets, we've seen her shoot crazy for the first half of the season. And then, you know, we didn't see her. I thought she was going to win the three-point contest, and clearly yeah. I was wrong. Um, <laughs> and then the All-Star game, man, Enrique, 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 Enrique. Yeah. I, so, earlier that day. Did you, did you expect that? Well, she talked about being clutch at, at this. I went to this conversation with Don, Enrique, Aaliyah, and Skyla. And um, Andrea Carter asked her about being clutch. And she said, I does this. You know, some days I can, it, the ball goes in and some days it doesn't. But I'm never going to stop shooting. I don't know if it was the outfit yeah. change. I don't she know would. what Coach Mila said. I don't know what happened. But... What she did in that third, I mean, the whole second half was crazy, but she scored yeah. 21 in the third quarter. I could, it would happen so fast. I couldn't even get out my phone to get any clips. It, <laughs> it was just ridiculous to just yeah. see it. And I was on, I sat on baseline this year. They put us on baseline, guys. We're moving on up. They didn't have me up in the stands this year. So right. to see that in the third quarter, it, it was just an, Enrique, you you definitely do this for sure. So to be yeah. able to witness that, it it was absolutely um like like she says she does this and keep doing it because you had everyone thinking that we picked the wrong Olympic team to go to the Olympics. So it, it was it was worth the wait, I guess to to yeah. see you know and to have Coach Miller win that was fire. That was fire. Yeah. And they gave her a standing yeah. ovation. Vanessa Bryant was in the house. She's very humble. It, Angel Reese is so humble. I don't know why she want to take on this villain role because she's so sweet. She talks sweet. She, I don't know. I was just full of life the entire weekend this, that I was this out. Right changed, that changed everything. That's what it was. But that's, that's in the between that's all it is. the lines of basketball. Yeah. That's all it is. That's all it is. word to use, bro. People I, corner, That's bro. it. I mean, I get it because that in between, I I spoke to her. She even when I said you, your outfit was nice. She was like, "Thank you." It's am I rocking it right? Um, it was it was not what you expect from what the me oh, yeah. media created. Let me just say that. Sure. Yeah, you know, yeah, it, sure. that's yeah. just what I would say. You just you it, you wouldn't expect what the media will say just because you know i haven't covered a game where i get to ask her questions so when you're going into you just don't know what you're going to expect but you know it was just oh when i got to ask plum dog a question that was dope hi kelsey i'm ciara with mtmd sports and speaking of family you're going to play for the gold with your family if you could describe your chemistry with your team in one word what would it be Question. I would say, I would say fun. We we laugh a lot together. No one takes himself too seriously. Uh, I love what I love about this group is uh, everyone's super selfless. People know, you know, we're coming together as a team. Your role might not be the role you play on your W team. And people know that. There's a level of maturity. Um, so if anything, it's just we have a lot of fun together. Okay, and who gave you that name, Plum Dog? I, not me. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know exactly where it came from. I think it came from when I talked to Tom Brady. Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. That, that's a good. Uh, and, keep it. And obviously, people <laughs> like it. So okay, here we are. There we are. Keep yeah. it. Thank you. And the fact that her name came from Tom Brady. What? Yeah. Right. It was. It was. Right, so give me. So. I'm, gonna come, I'm gonna come to you and, and Will. But give me. Give me your your best moment of the weekend. For me, yeah, <sighs> we, was, we was watching on TV. He was on the ground. My best <laughs> moment would be when I asked Kelsey Plum a question, and she told me I had a great question. So that was my best. Mm. Hi, Kelsey. I'm Ciara with MTMD Sports, and speaking of family, you're going to play for the gold with your family. If you could describe your chemistry with your team in one word, what would it be?
That was solid. You always ask dope questions, though, sis. I be telling you that all the time, man. We's, we's but when you man. hear it, that chat was popping. Yeah. Thank you. I, I, you know, I got some good footage with Team USA and Team WNBA. So it, when you hear it from a player, it, it's it's different because mm. it's always something that you don't know, especially when you a- answered, you asked one question last year and it was like a yeah. post game question. It wasn't like in the in their face. So yeah. and, you know, it's dope, man. so that was the that's that was the my highlight of, you know, and it came I from Plum Dog. So. It. It's not just about the love of the game. It's about dedication and commitment through the process and the patience to endure. There's joy in reaching your goals and peace in knowing you've done all you're supposed to do. Ozell Brand. It's not just a brand, it's a lifestyle.